All right, so iOS 18 beta 2 has been released. And in this episode, we're going to find out what's new and if anything has changed drastically from beta 1 to beta 2. Stay tuned. So what is up, guys? Nick here, helping you to master your technology. And welcome to the developer beta 2 of iOS 18. You can see right here, it comes in at 1.44 gigabytes. And of course, there's not many notes. This is a developer beta. So Apple is rolling out features slowly. It doesn't have a whole list of those notes. It is something to note here, a lot smaller than beta 1. If you're coming from iOS 17, though, this could potentially be a uh, pretty sizable download. But if you're already on beta one, it's a 1.44 gigabyte download for the iPhone 15 Pro. If I head over here into settings here, we're gonna go ahead and hit update now. You'll have to punch in your passcode. All right, so on our previous iOS 18 beta one, Geekbench scores came in at 2889 on the single and 6804 on that multi-core score. So we'll be trying to beat that here. This download shouldn't take too long depending on how fast your internet is. But I'm gonna come back here in a second when this is done fully downloading. It's about 1.08 p.m. We'll see how long it takes to download. All right, so we're now in beta two. And what do you know? It looks pretty much the same, but are you spotting one difference I'm already seeing? We have beta one on the left, that icon for the app store. Definitely fix that one up for dark mode. As you can see right there, it's on the light mode. Now we'll take a look at the widgets a little bit later, but let's go ahead and confirm the build number here. All right, so if we go here to the build number, you'll see 22A5297F. That is the build number of this one, so you know this is beta two. So the first new update is the one they showed at WWDC. You can find this on the Apple Newsroom website. Uh, it's just the mirroring to the Mac. Now, I, I'm not putting my Macs on beta. I just don't want to, um, but that's what became available. You can mirror your iPhone screen in this beta, it's now available to use. So go into your settings, go into the message settings here, and you can see the option to turn on RCS messaging now available. Now that's one of the bigger features here um, this year for the iPhones to play nicer with Android phones. We'll see how it plays out and if it works well though, I'll try it out later to see how it goes down. But you'll see right here in beta one on the left, we don't have RCS messaging available. So that's an all new feature here that became available for beta two on iOS 18. So you also have enhanced share play capabilities where you're able to show people everything going on on the screen. You can draw on their screen as well um, to showcase them how to use certain things on their phone. This could be useful if they don't know how to use certain things on their iPad or their Mac, you can go ahead and draw and you know, it's gonna be probably more useful for iPad, Mac, but you'll be able to do that here. And that's a nice new update that just rolled out here in beta two. All right, so let's take a look at Control Center. And I don't know if I'm tweaking or not, but I think I'm not. It uh, feels smoother to me. Let's go ahead and add a control. All right, and here it's still a little bit buggy. Let's see if we have basically the same controls. I'm gonna grab beta one here and take a look at the controls here within Control Center to see if they add anything new. And you'll see pretty much the same in Vision Accessibility. Let me know if I'm missing something. Pretty much the same. We have announced notifications right there. That might be new, unless it's just in a different space on my other phone. And you'll see pretty much similar. If we scroll down, yeah, not many, many changes. Still a little bit buggier there on beta one. It looks a little smoother here. Um, still looks like they haven't cleaned this portion up, but definitely kind of scrolling through the main control center. This part looks a little smoother to me. Um, I could, it could be just me, but yeah, it looks a little smoother here, especially in this area, but adding the controls, they still need to smooth that out a bit. All right. So in the dark mode icon, you could see right here, some of them would be still like in a light mode on the widget. So let's go ahead and see if they fix that or if that, let me know if that was an issue for you or if we have more dark mode based widgets here. So the weather, let's go ahead and put this on dark. See if that looks the same. So the weather doesn't darken. Maybe that one doesn't do that. Um, also, before we go ahead and look at more widgets, let's see if the, some people were reporting in Reddit that the icons are failing now. <laughs> Actually in the first beta, like stuff like this. Now they're not even turning. So you can actually introduce new bugs to the beta as you go along. So now we have an issue right there. So that looks a little bit off. So we don't usually wanna see things get um, a little more buggy, but it looks like there it did. Now going to large icons, looks like it got slower here to transition. So yeah, there still needs to be work done there. 
yeah so there still needs to be work done there for sure let me go ahead and just put this back on automatic let me get that off the tint because i'm not a fan of that color um you can still play around with it it doesn't look like it's going to be a ma massive issue but at least they fixed that app store icon um, that's pretty good all right so heat wise on beta 2 feels pretty good scrolling through the software generally still smooth here control center like i say feels smoother let me go ahead and hop in between these apps see if anything crashes here and looks pretty good that looked good that looks pretty smooth right there and then if i go out of here i'll go into instagram and you'll see that's looking fine I'm not, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this so far with these app launches. And of course, some people are going to still download this regardless of the fact, you know, that it has a few bugs here and there, especially if they want to play around with the new beta, but it's looking good here still for the iPhone 15 pro series for sure. So some people were seeming to have a screen time bug, including me. It's averaging a ridiculous 16 hours. That's not true. So it's not properly tracking screen time here for me. I'll have to check back. Um, this is another one. I definitely was not on this phone for nine hours today. That's also off. So the screen time, it's buggy right now. Definitely not accurate whatsoever on my beta one and looks like it remains here on beta two. Also that app store icon does reflect here within the, these settings as well. I did notice that down at the bottom. That's That's also reflecting. When I go into the app settings, these were turning white a little bit when I went through here. That was a little buggy. Now it seems to be a little bit better loaded. Did they add any new wallpapers? Probably not. And they seeming to load pretty slow. Yeah, wallpapers are still the same. I think this is what it's going to be all the way through. Apple doesn't really add an incredible amount of wallpapers, although I'm happy they did at least leave my official 14 or 15 pro wallpaper there, which is good because I complained about this before how they would remove the stock wallpaper that came with your iPhone. At least they're leaving that there. But generally speaking, this iOS beta 2 just seems like it added a couple of features. It doesn't really seem uh, too different. It does seem to perform a little bit better, but now I'm starting to heat up a little bit on this phone. Um, also, keep in mind that the battery drain was about 20% downloading this, and it took about 20 minutes to download this thing. I'm going to go ahead and run a Geekbench score to see if we can beat out our recent, which was, once again, I'll remind you, 2889 on the single and 6804 on the multi. So that's what we're trying to beat. I'll be back when this is done. All right, so we got a 2669 and a 64. 54. So let's go back here and you'll see that we actually got a lower score here on beta two. Um, that's probably because the phone was already hot from the download, but I could potentially run it again on a restart in the future. Maybe we'll do a speed test or something like that, but not performing better so far than my original beta one score. And my, even my very first one, which just came on the 17.5.1 before the 18 was higher than both of these. So definitely this CPU benchmark shows that the 18 is not performing better than stable. So, but it's not like way off. It's just a little bit slower. So if you want to try it out and you could deal with a little bit slower performance, a little bit buggier performance, you'll probably be fine here. Let's go ahead and check the camera, make sure that works. That is one of the most important things as we continue on this beta process. If I go ahead and click the camera, all lenses seem to be working fine. Um, I've actually had the camera crash one time on me, um, but it's not like I've never had it crash before, even on the stock version. I will say overall, this seems to be working just fine. I'll go ahead and flip that camera around to the front and you'll see pretty good as well. Back it out a little bit. Also pretty good. So yeah, I think you're going to be fine here for beta two. Battery is draining kind of quick. A couple of new features here and there. But um, yeah, this is just not a massive, massive update here. Pretty small one, but keep it moving if you already downloaded the beta. Um, I still don't think it's ready. If you want a super stable version, wait till public. And um, nice new app store icon. I know I probably missed quite a few things. So go ahead and drop everything you find out down below. There's also a new home button icon I've seen on a forum. Um, on the Apple CarPlay. So if you use CarPlay, there's a new button there. I'm at the bottom left corner where your app trays are on the left side of your screen. That's new. And um, if you see anything else here within this beta, go ahead and let me know down below in the comments. It can help people out to figure out what's new and decide if they want to go on and download this beta. I'll catch you on the next one. Nick here. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to be well and peace.